So I started the solo with this, which is almost like Stevie Ray when he played Tim Pan Alley, right? But then I'm playing the nine, right, on top, right? And then after that, I played the same idea, but I changed it a little bit. Instead of playing the nine, I'm playing the flat seven. So what I do, just did here, it was a, a mo motif, right? So I played the first one, like with the nine on top, and then I go. Using the sharp four. Using some slides, not picking all the time, which gives me that more of that vocal, that balance gives me the vocal and quality. So I did that. And uh, before going to the five, oh sorry, before I'm going to the four, I did that thing that I that I like to do that I mentioned before, which is playing major over a minor song. So the last two beats, not necessarily the last two beats, but that's where it works great. Uh, I just played major. So I was like right here, minor pentatonic, and then I I even did something like this, like I was like major, 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 and then I solved, you know, I resolved that tension. So it's something that I did again afterwards on the second chorus, when I was right here, like doing some repetitions. And then I played the major third, right? Little chromatic, right? Go into the minor third of the, the, the four chord with F, F minor seven, right? So you see when I play those chord tones, especially when it's the thirds, on the downbeat, it really tells the listener, it really tells the quality of the chord. And also I played some arpeggios, you know, I did some mixing with the minor pentatonic. So I played arpeggios for uh, F minor seven. Right, the shape here. And I added some different notes. I used a lot the major seven, I don't know if you noticed. The first chorus over the five, I played this. This is the major seven of the scale, right? Of the core, of the tonic, I mean, sorry. Which would be give that sound of the melodic minor. Uh, sorry, the harmonic minor. It's also on the melodic minor too, but since I'm not using the major six, we're gonna just talk about the harmonic minor. Worked very good, but also the second second reason that why it works good, it's because I'm playing the five. The five has the major third, right? If I'm altering the chord, because if I'm playing a straight chord, like if I'm playing G minor 7, I'm not going to have that note, right? But if I play, if I'm altering the chord, so I can play that note, right? So I did that. And I also did that here, right? So when I did some stuff like... I'm all the time like playing something and then I play that major 7, and then I play that major 7, you know? in many places, so I like to do that with my phrasing, like... Uh. And of course, a lot of long notes, you know, like... You know, you really, you really build up the band, you know, you go like very slow, Long notes, vibrato, you know, very important too. The articulation, the way you play, uh, I play a lot with my fingers too, so, so I get different tones. That's why, because, you know, when I play with the pick, I have one tone. When I play with this finger here, I have a different tone because I have short nail. When I play with the ring finger, which I use a lot, it's another tone because I have the long, longer nail, right? So I have many possibilities. You know, even if I play with the thumb, it's something that's going to work really good. Sounds more warm, more mellow, you know? So basically, that's what I did in this solo. And uh, just playing minor with major notes, with different notes, different articulation. And, at the, and on top of everything, it's just about the feeling. It's just, it's just about feeling it. It's about the feel.